I am going to show you how to make the most delicious fork tender Korean style short ribs in the crock pot that you can have on a weeknight with almost zero effort. And this is definitely a recipe that you're going to want to make over and over again. This is a keeper. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to need five pounds of short ribs and just pop them right in the crock pot. Half a cup of low sodium soy sauce. You're gonna need one third cup of brown sugar, light brown sugar, dark brown sugar, whatever you have, it does not matter. Okay. So one third cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of sesame oil, one. and two and you're going to need two tablespoons of rice vinegar one two tablespoon of dry ginger okay, so half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes need about six or seven cloves of garlic crushed i'm literally just going to use my bottle of sesame and just crush them And then I'll just wipe the bottom of the bottle <laughs> before I put it back in the cabinet. Take a whisk, a fork, whatever you have, and blend this all together nicely. You want to make sure all that brown sugar at the bottom is mixed in with the sauce. And now you are going to take this, take the sauce over to your crock pot and take the sauce and pour it over the short ribs and you're going to cover this, plug it in. Okay. You have two choices here. You can cook it on low for nine hours or high for six hours. I'm going to do the low nine because I want this to cook all day while I'm at work. And then when I get home, it's ready for us. Low. Nine hours. That's it. It's set. It's going to start cooking right now. So when you get home from work, your house is going to smell divine. And then there's just a few more steps to have this done. I'll see you later. Okay guys, so after the crock pot is done cooking the short ribs, you, this is what you're gonna need to finish off to complete the meal. You're gonna need some cornstarch, some water, some sesame seeds, some shredded carrot, and some scallion. And the, with these five things, you are gonna make a sauce with the liquid that comes out of the crock pot that is gonna be delicious, indulgent, velvety and amazing and that's going to go over the short ribs and then you're going to serve that with some rice i'm going to use this jasmati rice and i'm also going to serve it with a little bit of wasabi pickles on the side because i need that sweet crunch and wasabi pickles are amazing okay guys it is after work just turn this off well it was already off when i got home look at that it smells amazing amazing no exaggeration so now what you want to do is you want to get yourself a nice big platter and you're going to take the short ribs out of the sauce out of the crock pot and you're going to put them on the platter just like this some of them are going to fall off the bone that is quite all right Because the reason, you, look at this, ready? I'm gonna press down on it, look. Comes right off the bone. So tender. So the reason you're taking this all out is because you are gonna use what's at the bottom of the crock pot there and you're gonna make a sauce with it. A nice, thick, luscious, delicious sauce. 
Look at that. It just falls off the bone. You could take the bones out if you want. Throw it in the sink. I usually just leave the bone on the platter, but you know what? I'll make it easier for myself. I'll just take it off now. Turn it over. And the bone comes right out. Super tender. Picking these out. Just like this. the bones out one thing one left just like that okay Perfect. Look how good that looks. It smells amazing. Okay, so I just poured everything that was in the crock pot into this bowl, and you could see right there all that top layer that's fat, that's grease. You want to get rid of that. So we're going to skim that off because we don't want the sauce to be a bunch of fat. We want the bottom stuff, which is the good stuff. And I am going to take off, look at that. See that? That is all fat. So you want to take all that fat off the top. You want that nice, dark, rich sauce at the bottom. So I'm going to put this aside. I got the most of the bulk of the fat off, but I want to get some more off. So I'm going to pour it. Oops. <laughs> See how it's, there's still a lot of fat on there. So get some more fat off. Okay, so to make your sauce, you're going to get a skillet, put skillet on, and you're going to pour the sauce from the bottom of the crock pot in your skillet, three tablespoons of water, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and you're going to mix this in. it's going to make like a slurry and you don't want it to be ice cold water you want it to be like room temperature water just makes it easier and to the juices from the crock pot just like this take your whisk and start whisking this And you want to turn the heat up because you want this on high and just keep stirring it because you want to bring it to a boil and you're going to stir it and while it boils for two minutes. And that's going to get it nice and thick. And then once that happens, we're going to add our carrots and mix those in. And at the same time, I have a tablespoon of sesame seeds here. My daughter did that. I poured them in the pan and when I came back, she had <laughs> made a face in them. But anyway, so we're gonna take the sesame seeds and while you're stirring, turn on the back burner on low, medium low. Look, it's already boiling. And you're gonna get the sesame seeds toasted up. You want them toasted, not burned. Okay, so this is boiling. Just keep stirring for two minutes. It's on high heat. Just keep an eye on the sesame seeds as you're stirring the sauce because you don't want those to burn. 
So just move them around a little few seconds. You just want them toasted. Okay, so I'm going to turn the sauce down to low. I'm going to put in a cup and a half of shredded carrot. And I'm going to get that mixed in. So just mix the carrot in. And then just leave it on low for about a minute because you want the carrot to get warmed up. So just let the carrots get warmed up. And in the meantime, I am going to put the sesame seeds on high and get them toasted. And while those are toasting, I have a pot of rice ready. Okay, we're in the home stretch. A few minutes and dinner is ready. Look at that. Get home from work and you have an amazing meal that normally would have taken hours and it's ready. And we're gonna serve that with wasabi pickles. Let me get those out of the fridge. All right. I got my wasabi pickles here. They're actually not wasabi. These are not wasabi. Um, there's wasabi and then there's horseradish. These happen to be horseradish, but to us they taste the same. The wasabi ones, they have the same bite, but they're still sweet. Sesame seeds are nicely toasted. So we are ready, guys. Let's plate this up. I was going to just do something for like 15 minutes. Okay. I know. I can't. Sauce is ready. So you're going to take that sauce and you're going to pour it right over the short ribs just like this. And remember, the sauce has garlic, soy sauce, sesame oil, red pepper flake, some brown sugar. A ton of flavor in here. And you're going to use the sauce for the rice too, because we're serving this with plain white rice, just like that. Raw scallion. And you're going to sprinkle that right on top, just like this. Okay. And then you're going to take your toasted sesame seeds. You're going to sprinkle those right on top. Just like this. All right. And then, because we're serving this family style today, and put it right there on the same platter. Okay, so you can serve it just like this. Or what I like to do is I put scallion over the rice too because the rice is plain and this, you know, with the sauce, you're going to have sauce on there as you're eating the meat with the rice, but I just love scallion. So I sprinkle it all over. And my daughter loves scallions on her rice too. So sprinkle some sesame seeds. All right, and I know toasting the sesame seeds probably seems insignificant, but it really does add a good amount of flavor. There you have it, folks. This is Korean style short ribs in the crock pot that I came home to smelling delicious. So let me serve up a plate and show you. I like to take some of the rice, put it on the plate, Just like this. And I like to get some of the short rib and put it right on top of the rice, just like that. Just like that. And you get some of that extra sauce. Mm -mm -mm. And serving it with some 
horseradish pickles. So you have a little bit of a crunch and a little spiciness and some cold, cool, crunchy on the side. And voila. That, my friends, is a delicious weeknight dinner that took almost no effort at all because the crock pot did all the work. So let's give this a taste. You don't even need a knife because this is so tender. It literally just falls apart with your fork. Look at that. Look at that. Literally falls apart with your fork. See this? Look. See that? It is so fork tender. Literally so fork tender. So just take a little bit of rice, a little bit of that Korean short rib. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. Sweet. It's salty. It melts in your mouth. That sesame oil gives it that deep. I just love sesame. Mmm. -mm -mm. This is so good. This is literally so good. Mmm. And get one of those horseradish pickles. Mm, mm, mm. So crunchy. This is really an amazing meal. Seriously, amazing. This is almost a meal I would make for someone's birthday. That's how good it is. And because it's not cheap. I mean, short ribs are not cheap. But they're worth it once in a while. Look at that. So good. Thanks for watching, people. We are going to go enjoy this amazing meal. And I hope you give it a try. Make it for someone's birthday for a special occasion. And bon appetit. Bye.